Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we have something really cool to look at. This old Kodak Vigilant Junior 620 camera. And it's pretty cool because we have the box and everything with this. And I'm going to show you what's on this box. We have some information. This camera was made by Kodak Company. Telling you a little bit about the features here and nothing on this side of the box. There's the bottom. So let's open the box up and see what we have. We have some words here. Um, nothing else on the inside. Got what looks to be a manual and then a little guide to help us take some pictures. So we're gonna see some really cool graphics and pictures in these. Um, this camera was made in the 40s. So this is your snapshot guide. So you can use this rotating wheel to help you figure out the shutter time and the different settings you need based on the coverage of the sky. Here's two different guides for the black and white pictures and for pictures in color and just look at these graphics and the people in these it's amazing and feel free to pause anytime if you want to read what these say I move kind of fast just because there's so much to get through here is if you're using um, lights to help you set up the picture indoors it's got a little bit different setup than what you would do if you were taking a picture outside. So you need this guide, same sort of concept, the rotating wheel. So pretty cool that it comes with that. I, back then you needed that sort of thing to help you take your pictures. Here's the guide. It's gonna talk about six steps to take great pictures with your new Kodak camera. So the pictures, I mean, in the manual look pretty good for this camera. It's going to tell you how to open the front, how to change the shutter. Really cool stuff. Here's our lens opening and how to change that in the finders, how to see what you're taking a picture of. Since there's no electronic parts in this camera, it's all based on your view and what you like to take a picture of. No LCD display. Here's how to use that finder and to hold your camera steady. It's a little bit bigger than today's camera or this iPhone. I'm shooting this video on right now. And wonder if that lady ever thought she would be on YouTube all these years later when she got her picture taken using this Kodak camera. Something to think about. Here is a little picture showing you what each of the different pieces on the camera represent. Here's some of the film. This camera uses the Kodak 620 film, but from what I understand, um, there was different films based on what you were trying to take. Color photo, black and white photo, panoramic. Some nice pictures over here, some snapshots. Got a girl with her dog, I think is what that is, on the beach. Um, some different guides to what settings to use. So I'm going to go a little bit faster through this. Just pause if you want to read. Got some pretty cool information. How to take good pictures. That's a useful book that I need. All right, some more information on the back. So as you can take pictures of moving objects, I wonder how those turned out with this camera. 
So let's take this camera out of the box. The box is pretty cool. The uh, first thing I noticed was it had these little wood inserts to hold the camera in, which you don't see much anymore. Pieces, uh, products that have just wood um, pieces to hold things in. There we got the Kodak label right on the camera. And you just flip that up um, to pull out the piece of the camera. Here's a little strap that you can carry with and that button is used to take apart or open the camera, I should say. Here's a little um, winding slide and it's got a little red glass piece under it but I couldn't get it to move. This camera's in really good shape um, and a lot of the pieces are pretty stiff. Here's your little um, viewfinder to help you take your picture and it just is two little metal pieces that fold down and are held in place by a spring. Got your winding knob here to um, wind your film. A little um, piece to put on a tripod if you were going to use that screw it in I'm gonna open the camera and it's pretty stiff but you press that silver button and open this thing right up and it clicks so as you can see we have our lens and it's uh, called a codet lens and just look at this material that the camera is made out of really high quality really nice shape for being from the 1940s. You have this little viewfinder looking piece up here and from what I understand you could shine a light through that to act as a flash because the camera does not have a flash since there are no electronic parts. Here's your shutter and you can see it open and close. And this piece adjusts up at the top here as well. And to the left of my finger, you can see that exposure lever, I guess you would call it, to take your photo. And look at the craftsmanship on this camera, the sleek lines, um, the material. It's just really nice shape, really nice detail. Um, I like the silver with the black. It looks pretty nice. This is what it would be like to take your photo through the viewfinder. So awesome. And then to close this, you just sort of do the same thing. You hold down that button. It's really stiff, and I had trouble closing it. But eventually got it. Closes, folds right back up. And it clicks, and you just put that piece down right there. So now let's open the camera kind of hard to see what um, I'm doing here because of that strap but you just move the little slide to you and it opens it right up there you can get a good view this is what the inside of the camera looks like um, this is on this piece um, we have that red lens down here that I was talking about and I think the film had a line that you could see that told you when to wind it. Um, here's what film to use, that 620 film. It does not take 120 film, which I think was a common film back then. Um, look how cool that looks. It looks awesome. And that's where you, you know, put in the film down there and wind it up in that's what inside of your camera would look like. So we'll close it back up. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and the information on these really cool um, manuals and guides. Um, and I hope you also enjoyed looking at the camera. Um, it's amazing to see these um, cameras that were made so long ago that people use to take their everyday pictures. Um, thanks again for watching. Have a good day. Bye.